Hi, I'm Amanda, and I'm here to show you how to pack a vacation of fun in just a few days. On this episode of Weekend Getaways, I'll show you a luxury hotel right off Main Street, how to enjoy some of the best wine in the country, and where to go for some good old-fashioned fun. Stick with us, and I'll show you some great ideas of where to stay, what to do, and where to eat. All that's coming up on this episode of Weekend Getaways. I'm Amanda Reichard, and today on Weekend Getaways, we're in southern Washington visiting a city off the beaten path. This is Walla Walla. Located along the Palouse Hills and the Blue Mountains, with over 2,000 acres of vineyards, this is the wine country of the Northwest. On today's episode, I'll show you some ways to enjoy the site, including a tour through some of the local wineries and a good old-fashioned cinematic experience. We'll be right back on Weekend Getaways. Walla Walla is one of Washington's best kept secrets. It's a hidden gem, but to those who know about it, it's the Napa Valley of the Northwest. Located in the Walla Walla Valley with the rolling Palouse Hills and Blue Mountains to the east. This valley has been a regional agricultural hub for over a century. And with over 2,000 acres of prime vineyards, it's easy to see why it's the heart of great wine, bringing in people from across the nation. We scoped out just the place to stay for when you're in town. A true landmark, this hotel combines luxury and history. This is the Marcus Whitman Hotel. Built in 1927 in honor of Marcus Whitman, and just one block off Main Street, this hotel is truly unique. This historic hotel is located at the corner of Rose Street and 2nd Avenue. It has so many ties to the past, it makes it an extraordinary place to stay. One of my favorite things about this hotel, you're experiencing pure luxury. They have 133 spacious suites, plus enjoy the vineyard lounge for a glass of wine, and have chocolate covered strawberries sent straight to you. And here's a tip to experience the many local wineries. Walk to some of the tasting rooms downtown or book a wine tour. That way you can enjoy all the fun and stay safe. I'm here with Jonathan, one of the managers at the Marcus Whitman Hotel. So tell me a little bit about the history of the hotel. It's an amazing history too. In fact, 1928, the local townspeople realized it wasn't really a place to offer overnight accommodations or to hold social gatherings. So they went to Stephen Baker of Baker Boyer Bank and he said that I will give you $300,000 bond if you can raise $150,000 of your own money, but I'll give you 90 days to do it. So they actually sold $100 gift certificates to the hotel and it took them 30 days to do it. And the hotel got the funding. It was built September 1st, 1928 is when it opened with more than 1,000 people in the dining room. What are some of the details that make staying at the Marcus Whitman so luxurious? When guests first step into the hotel, they're absolutely just baffled by the history of the hotel itself. In fact, the lobby's all original to 1928. The woodwork is all done by European mahogany. Um, the floors are original, even the chandeliers are original. So it's a really feeling like you're taking a step back in time when you take a step foot in the Marcus Whitman Hotel. We have a saying, you know, exceptional guest experience for every guest. And we really do a go above and beyond for each and every one of our guests. And we're located right in the heart of downtown Walla Walla and some amazing restaurants and more than 30 wineries, by the way, within walking distance. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much. These rooms are pure comfort. They include a plush bed with down comforters and pillows and luxury linens. Plus, each room comes with spa quality products so you look and feel your best. You'll also have a flat screen TV with premium channels and Wi-Fi so you're always connected. And don't worry about breakfast. The Marcus Whitman offers a hot and healthy breakfast complimentary with each room. The Marcus Whitman Hotel is situated in the heart of downtown 
giving you access to great coffee shops, restaurants, and nightlife. There are lots of options for entertainment here, and it's easy access to anywhere in Walla Walla. No matter what your mood, you'll find plenty of things to do. For more information on the Marcus Whitman Hotel, click on the link at weekendgetawayshow.com. Now that you know where to stay, I'll show you some of my favorite things to do when we come back on Weekend Getaways. Welcome back to Weekend Getaways. Walla Walla is known for its great wine and with over 2,000 acres of vineyards, if you love wine, Walla Walla should be at the top of your list. There are different ways to experience the many wineries of Walla Walla. One way to make the most of your trip is to book a wine tour. That way you have a local expert to guide you and you don't have to worry about how to get to the different wineries. One of my favorite wine tours will create a custom itinerary for you, or you can set your own schedule. This is Bella Fortuna. It's a unique way to explore the sites of Walla Walla while visiting the local wineries. With an endless wealth of knowledge on viticulture and enology, and wonderful relationships with the many local winemakers, Bella Fortuna will give you an unforgettable tour with first-class treatment all the way. I'm here with Sharon, the owner of Bella Fortuna Events. So Sharon, tell me a little bit about a wine tour and what all that entails. A wine tour really enables the guests to go out and enjoy several different wineries without having to actually drive themselves home. Our wine tours are anywhere from three to five hours. You can go to five to seven or eight wineries. Um, we'll take you in, introduce you to the winemaker or the tasting room attendant. They'll enjoy some wines and then we go on to the next winery. So how far in advance should somebody book a trip? Can someone come in in a weekend and book right when they get here? Or should they book something well in advance? We have people that book over a year in advance. Um, the months May through, I would say, September book up so quickly, I recommend booking ahead. But if we have space available, you can call the day before. And if we're free, we'd love to help. So where all do you have lined up for us today? Today, we're starting off at Dama um, downtown, then we're going to hit the south side and hit a few of my favorite wineries. Awesome. I cannot wait. So thank you so much, Sharon, and I'm ready to get this adventure started. Our first stop is Dama Wines. A unique fact about Dama is it's Washington's first all-women-owned winery. Dama is located right in the heart of Walla Walla on Main Street. Its tasting room is known for its friendly nature and making people feel comfortable and right at home. And this is a great place to start your wine tasting adventure. For our next stop, we're headed to 1793 JB George Road. This is Va Piano. Va Piano makes most of their wines in small lots, so you know you're getting something special when you drink a Vapiano wine. Enjoy a tasting of their special lots. We headed just up the road to the last stop on our tour of Walla Walla wine country. This is Gifford Hirlinger. You can't help but enjoy yourself at this fun and modern tasting room. With influence from California wine country, and a name you won't soon forget. Visit Gifford Herlinger for some good times and enjoy their simply fabulous wine. This is a great way to experience many of the local wineries here in Walla Walla. Make sure to bring your camera so you can capture all the fun. It's one of my favorite things to do while you're here. For more information on Bella Fortuna events, click on the link at weekendgetawayshow.com. Coming up next, I'll show you where to get a great local beer and take you to have some good old fashioned fun. We'll be right back on Weekend Getaways. Welcome back to Weekend Getaways. We've shown you around the beautiful wine country of Walla Walla, but now we're gonna take you to a blast from the past for some good old fashioned fun and we'll show you where to find the best local brew. 
Take a trip right outside of town and pull up to the big screen for a night of cinematic fun. This is the Milton Freewater Drive-In Theater. It's been family owned and operated for over 55 years. I'm here with Mike, the owner of the Milton Freewater Drive-In Movie Theater. So Mike, tell me, what does this theater mean to the community? Well, we've been here since 1961. The, the, build, the theater was actually built in 1953. It's always been a place for kids to come, for families to come. It's a much less expensive alternative to the theaters, the indoor theaters. And then when the screen blew down in 2007, once we got feedback from the community, it was a no-brainer. It was obvious to us that this was an important part of the community. And so we're still here, and we hope to continue to be here for them. Well, Mike, you guys have done a fantastic job with redoing this, and it's amazing. So thank you so much. Well, thanks for being here. Make it a full night out at the theater and grab one of their homemade pizzas. They are fresh made here at the drive-in and make a perfect addition to your movie night. I can't think of a better way to enjoy a beautiful night. I've got my pizza and I'm ready to tune in to one of my favorite movie experiences. The Milton Freewater Drive-In Theater gives you a chance to experience some good old fashioned fun. For more information, visit our page at weekendgetawayshow.com and click on the link for the Milton Freewater Drive-In Theater. Craft brewing is becoming one of America's favorite ways to enjoy beer. And we're scoping out the best of the best. Walla Walla might be known for its wine, but that doesn't mean there's any shortage of great beer. When you're here, check out a brewery located at 602 Piper Avenue. This is Burwood Brewing. I'm here with David, the owner of Burwood Brewing Company. So David, tell me, what was the inspiration of starting a brewery in the heart of wine country? Well, my wife and I wanted to start a brewery that was uh, for the community, a place where people could come with their families and enjoy a locally crafted beer. Okay, what do you have lined up for me? Well, I've got six beers today. First one here is the Pilsner. Uh, next to that is the IPA. And then we've got the Continental Pale Ale. Next to that is the Hop Locker IPA and Penny Packer Alt Beer is near the end, and then the final one is the Black Beer, which is a German Schwarz beer style. Okay, what should I start with? I think you should start with the uh, Penny Packer, which is an Alt Beer style. Okay, well this is something new for me, so I'm excited. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It's a little malty, but I still get that tiny bit of hop on the back of my tongue. Tell me what's in this. So it's a German style alt beer. It tends to be malty, but it also has a good balance of hops with it. Well, I am so excited to try all of these. Thank you so much. You're welcome. To find out more about Burwood Brewing Company, click on the link at weekendgetawayshow.com. Coming up next, I'll show you some of my favorite places to eat in Walla Walla. We'll be right back on Weekend Getaways. Welcome back to Weekend Getaways. We've shown you some of the great things to do here in Walla Walla, and now it's time to take you to some unique places to eat. I'll show you some of my favorite spots where they're serving up gourmet food in a gas station and an intimate dining experience where they're making classic treats. Our first stop is one of the most unique places you'll ever get gourmet food. Located at 706 West Rose Street. That's right, it's in the gas station. This is Andre's Kitchen. I'm here with Andre Boak, the owner and creator of all the flavors. So Andre, tell me, what was the biggest inspiration on your food? I guess traveling around and going to places and eating street food and bringing that back here and trying to put it into play for our menu uh, here in the gas station. Well, perfect, okay, what are you making for me today? Well, I think what we're going to do today is uh, our morning after biscuit. It's going to be our buttermilk biscuit with uh, fried chicken, our house smoked uh, bacon on there, a little crystal hot sauce aioli, and a runny egg. 
Okay, so walk me through this. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a biscuit going on the flat top. Then we're gonna throw our bacon down. We brine it, smoke it in house with our smoker. Next thing we're gonna do is throw a little chicken into the fryer. We're gonna bring it all together with a runny egg on top a little crystal hot sauce aioli on the top and bottom biscuit and call it good. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm gonna enjoy the best gas station food you'll ever eat. Coming up next, I'll show you another must-hit spot in Walla Walla. For more information on Andre's Kitchen, click on the link at weekendgetawayshow.com. experience, I'm going to take you to an intimate restaurant with some Mediterranean flair. This is Saffron. This quaint restaurant is in a beautiful brick building at 125 West Alder Street. Saffron has a warm, inviting atmosphere. The dining room is cozy with exposed brick and beautiful warm wood furnishings. Saffron lets you enjoy great food with family and friends in a beautiful and friendly environment, creating an unforgettable experience. You might be surprised by the level of amazing and unique cuisine at Saffron. Food lovers travel from all areas and make sure to stop in to sample the latest creation on the menu. It doesn't matter the time of year, they are sure to never disappoint. I'm here with Chris, the owner of Saffron. So chef, you're gonna make me a three course dinner tonight. What all are you gonna get me? I think we'll start with our uh, pea and radish salad. I uh, use the local ingredients. I think then we'll move to the chicken tagine. And then follow that with the halva mousse. Ooh, that sounds unique. I'm super excited, Well. Why don't we go ahead? We'll get that started. Let's do it. Thank you so much. This looks amazing and well worth the trip. For more information on Saffron, click on the link at weekendgetawayshow.com. We'll be right back on Weekend Getaways. Walla Walla is home to some of the best wine in the country. Spend a weekend enjoying the vineyards and the many local wineries. I found there's a bit of something for everyone, whether you're looking for an entire weekend of wine tasting, or if you're looking to enjoy some spectacular food and outdoor fun. I've only shown you a small sample of what makes Walla Walla a great short weekend vacation, or stay a little longer and enjoy a bit of everything. That's all for this trip, but there are plenty of more stops along the way. Weekend Getaways will take you with us as we explore the best places to pack in some fun in just a few days. Showing you great ideas of where to stay, what to do, and where to eat. We'll see you next time on Weekend Getaways. Okay. One line down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I uh, bloodied my knuckles in kickboxing the other day. He's like, you can't show your hands on camera now. What did you do? I was like, I didn't mean to. Sorry. Think? Is that your low Levine? Yeah. yeah. So Sharon, tell me a little bit about a wine tour and what all that entails. Um, a wine tour is... Uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> Click on the link at weekendgetawayshow.com. We'll be right back on Weekend Getaways. I forgot I was supposed to take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs>